Jared De Paris joins us as the next celebrity to be participating in the Mazda 6 Celebrity Challenge. Jared, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Do you want to maybe start by telling us what you do and what you're about to be involved in? I'm very nervous I'm going to be involved in uh, the celebrity, that's a very loose term, celebrity Grand Prix race. Uh, I was fortunate to be um, to be involved in, in the latest underbelly, in Squizzy, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to, to having a week of fun driving the Mazda. So tell us a little bit about your character, Squizzy, because is it a little bit bizarre that he's sort of, he's probably not the nicest guy, yet people are cheering for him? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's certainly, well, back in the day, in the 1920s, he was, he was famous because uh, he was a criminal and, and yet he somehow managed to, to lure the press and, and, and the public to, to be absolutely fascinated with what he was doing and, and he kind of pioneered celebrity criminals and gangsters and, and everyone was rooting for him back then and it's nice to tell a story, an Australian story uh, uh, now and, and they're, they're still cheering for him. So speaking of celebrities, how do you rate your driving ability? Oh, jeez, I don't know. Look, I, I get around. I haven't had a crash. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's I've, a good start. Yeah, I haven't had a crash. Um, I'm pretty good at a reverse parallel. I'm, I'm confident with that. Not handy on a racetrack, I'm good. No, no, I can't. No. Yeah, I wish I could reverse parallel my way around, around <laughs> Albert Park. Um, okay, so are you going to be channeling Squizzy Taylor then as a driver? Because... You just said he was pretty ruthless, and by the sounds of it, he was the kind of guy to do whatever it took to get ahead. Yeah. So are you going to be channeling him, or is it going to be idea. Jared driving? That's a pretty. That's not a bad idea, except he'd probably crash on every day, every race, if he did that. Um, no, I'll have to have to be a bit more measured. See what the uh, see what the uh, the other competitors are like, and then um, yeah, maybe I'll have to channel him and work my way to the top. And now speaking of the other competitors, you've heard a few names dropped. Who do you probably rate as your biggest competition at this point in time? Surely Barretts has got to be up there, isn't he? He's a, he's a V8 man, so he's got to be on the racetrack a bit. Better, I hope you're watching this. Yeah, so if, look, if he get, as long as I finish in the top 20, because I think there's only 20, isn't there? Yeah, there yeah, is. Yeah, then I'll be stoked. Well, Barretts is only a water scare. You rock around with a Tommy gun playing a gangster. There That's go. got to help. Yeah. Do, does the Mazda fit a Tommy gun? I reckon it probably could. Yeah. We haven't tried. There's no passengers. But it might. Yeah. What are you looking forward to the most about the Mazda 6 Celebrity Challenge? Oh, look, I think it's just every boy's dream, right? To, to fly around a racetrack, you know, in the confined environment and, and just give, give it a red-hot crack. I love I, I, since, a, since I was a kid, I used to go around Albert Park um, and, you know, like my dad would be driving as, uh, when I was very young and I'd want him to follow the racing line and all that. So, no, it's, it's certainly a, um, a, a very exciting and, and yeah, it's, a, it's a, a bit of a, an event where I, I wish I could have done it for a long time and now I get to give it a go. And lastly, this is the first time you've seen the all-new Mazda 6. What do you think of it? I'm very impressed. It's very cool, very sleek. Uh, you know, obviously all the new technology is, is fantastic, but uh, I'm looking forward to, um, to giving it a crack. Fantastic. Well, driver training is just around the corner, so we'll be there at Sandown to uh, see how you're going. But Jared, we wish you the best of luck on the day, mate. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Cheers.